What's up everybody? RPG here and if, in, if you've been following all of my other videos you should be done with most of the side quests by now. These quests which are left you just need to travel to all the planets to collect the Asari ridings and all the insignia and what's left? Mineral collection yes collecting you have to collect the Salarian artifact so it, it takes time and we'll do that later as well and you have need to scan the keepers as well so we will try to do that once we get back to uh citadel after doing the mission on Vermeer, and that's where we'll be heading next let me just check if i have done everything i needed to do in citadel before i leave Yeah, we are, we, are, we are good. We can leave now. And to exit to Normandy, you can just go to CSEC first. And then you take the elevator ride upstairs. This one. This one. You'll be Presidium technicians are reaching the talking bay. Why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently? Technicians are reportedly unsure of what caused the malfunction, or even what the. Si You can switch the sprint button and the button to select powers while fighting and that's probably a better call as normally you sprint with shift in every single game. Just saying. You should probably do that. I haven't but I highly recommend it. You know some of the games today do not even give option to change the controls in 2021. Yes. It's very unfortunate. I think Rex will be here. I've recruited every single one of the possible squad mates. Even Rex. I think I should talk to Liara first and then try talking to Rex. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I just wanted to talk. Fair enough. What did you want to talk about? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought about what you said, about eliminating the threat immediately, regardless of the cost. You were right. You were right about Dr. Salian, too. Killing him was the only solution. This way, we'll know he'll never hurt anyone again. Words mean nothing until you turn them into action, Garrus. What are you going to do about it? I'm going to reapply for Spectre training. I'll probably kill my father, but I've got to try. If that doesn't work, I'll do just about anything, except go back to CSEC. I'm done with it. No more red tape, no more politics. From now on, I do things my way. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Commander, I wanted to Before, thank you. Garris. For everything. I've thought about what you said. That you were right about it. This way, we'll know we'll never hurt anyone again. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep Don't worry, Commander. I will. So, we've got Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good. He's rotten. To the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. 
Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. I'll decide what's important. Now tell me how you know Saren. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. Whose ship was it? There was a Volus trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. What can you tell me about the Genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want. All I know, every Krogan is infected. Every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? You ask a Krogan, would he rather find a cure for the Genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. So long, Rex. Shepard. Shepard? Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any strong. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. So long, Rex. Shepard. Okay, let's go to Valmaya. And make sure you have the full intimidate or charm uh, bar filled. It's going to come in handy. Trust me. It's going to come in very handy. Very, very handy. And it's, it's because a lot of the tougher speed checks are coming in. There's one with Siren on the citadel i think and then there's one speed check you have to clear on vermeer if you do want to save rex which i highly recommend because rex is an interesting squad mate
Yep. That seems accurate. I was just checking this one out. Not fully accurate. But okay. Decent enough to say that you can learn astrophysics from gaming. As I said before, make sure you have the charm or intimidate bar completely filled. You can easily have it by now if you have cleared all of the side quests. As you can see, uh, I've done them in my previous videos. Also, there is um, at least you should have eight bars filled in the intimidate option. At least eight or ten bars i think eight eight bars i think to clear the speed check that's a bare minimum which you should be having all right so this is a very good looking planet as you can see they say it's having a lot of resources so carbon based life forms like to like to colonize this particular Man, planet must be our check out those defense towers drop the mako we'll go in hot and take them out i'll get you in underneath their radar commander Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. So I'm gonna stop here for a minute. I want to show you around. So you gotta appreciate what Mass Effect did because this game came out uh, almost a decade ago. More than that actually, it's 2007, so it's more than 13 years. And... Looks good. I know it's a remaster, and technically it's not a 2007 game, but... It's a remaster, not a reboot. Or a remake. Trust me. I've played the original one. And only thing is the resolution of the textures have been highly highly upscaled look 4k and very crisp but even so designing all of this in engine is a pretty good feat disabling the AA towers we are here we have to go here over here first then we'll go to the Salarian camp I think follow the map this area will not be tricky trust me if you do not follow the map properly this area may end up being 
trickier than usual. I know, because I found it really tricky before on my first playthrough. And yeah, I, I got stuck. I got stuck pretty hard. And I could not figure out where I needed to go next. Did I mention I really like this area? I really do. It's a very very important area as well considering one of the hardest peak check will be coming up and that is regarding Rex. And um, you will be encountering major plot details in this particular area, planet. Let's just save our game. What? They still don't allow you to save your game over here. Maybe I just need to defeat that Colossus. Much better. All right. We're almost done. Almost to our intended location.
Target is down, Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. Out. Ready to go, Shepard. Okay, so now we need to go to the Salarian camp. Come on. I know I have the Omnigel, but I think some people would like to see the puzzle solved just in case they wasted all of their Omnigel on previous uh, puzzle which required 100 Omnigels uh, to disable the nuke, right? Uh, because it is disabling a nuke, um, they made it a little bit more challenging especially if you want to override it using Omnigel so you need to have 300 Omnigel in total
So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. Is he here? Have you seen him? No, but his Geth are everywhere and we've intercepted some comms referring to Saren. This is his facility, there's no doubt about that. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the Genophage. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army... He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. Don't worry about it, Captain. I do worry. That's why I'm still alive. Why don't you go talk to the Krogan? My men and I need some time to come up with a new plan of attack. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. It looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. Rex doesn't worry me. He'll fall in line. If you say so. But I'm gonna keep my eye on him. If it's all the same to you. Okay, make sure. Make sure you save your game. It's very important that you save your game here. And start talking to everyone. Except Rex. The upcoming battle frightens me, but I know Saren must be stopped. Cause when you talk to Rex, you'll be basically uh, completing one of the hardest checks in Mass Effect. I don't like the way Rex is behaving. He's re it won't be an easy fight. And you'll be obviously one step closer to completing the game. I'm just briefing my men. I suggest you do the same. I've been on this mission far too long. Now, I'll be taking the Renegade out. I don't want to fight him, so I'll probably take the Renegade option. I am sure. worried that Rex's allegiance to you may be waning. Out myself of the battle, but... We still feel the toll of the Krogan Rebellion. Let's talk to him. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the Genophage, we can't destroy it. This has to be done. Saren is the enemy, not me. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. I shouldn't have to explain that to you, Rex. Indulge me. If you can't give me a better reason than this to destroy the hopes of my people, then I'm done with you. All you need to know is that I'm giving you an order to fall in line. So that's it. All this time and that's all I get from you. How can you not see what this means to the Krogan? This base can't be destroyed. I won't allow it. So now you can actually shoot Rex. And if you have done his, his loyalty mission, I think uh, you need to collect a piece of armor. You can save him. Otherwise, you can shoot him. If you take the option, the middle option, he will die. Ashley will shoot him. Saren doesn't care about these Krogan. They're tools, puppets. He 
He'll destroy them as soon as they're no longer useful to him. Is that what you want for your people? No. We were tools for the Council once. Thank us for wiping out Varachni. They neutered us all. I doubt Zaret will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. Good. I prefer a straight fight anyway. It won't be that simple. We just don't have the numbers to meet them head on. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. I just hope you survive long enough to be useful. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. You expect me to commit one of my people to your command? We are all soldiers by trade. If your people are not prepared to face such a risk, would you really want them by your side? He's right, Commander. We can't do this without both teams at their best. I volunteer. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Salarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Alenko, you're with the Captain. Keep it simple. Understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the Ordnance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? Give me a quick rundown of the plan again. You are Team Shadow. We will create a distraction while you infiltrate the base. Make your way to the breeding grounds at the heart of the facility. Disable the AA guns so the Normandy can land and deliver the nuke. If we get that far, we'll try to help you with guns, but don't count on it. Once you have the bomb, place it next to the geothermal taps. Then get out before it detonates. Shadow seems clear enough. What would the other teams be called? Eigor, Manovai, and Jeeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Salarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. Let's do this. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything foolish while I'm gone, Ash. And that goes for you too, Commander. We'll be fine, LT. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you wanted to say, Caden? It's just weird, going under someone else's command. I've got so used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry so much. We'll see you on the other side. I know, I, um... I just wanted to say that it's been an honor serving with you, Commander. Whatever happens, everyone just keep shooting. We go in hard, hit them harder, and we'll be the only damn thing that comes out the other side. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission, and what is at stake. 
I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Staren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely... Use the help. Okay. Shadow is on the ground. Shadow is on the ground. And, and the, the fight begins. Up the assault rifle. You can take cover if you want and move slowly, but it's not required. On normal difficulty, especially. Just that you need to be ready. There may be a few few surprises overload them and kill them salt rifle 286 Worth it What else do we need to do over here? Okay. Yeah. 
Why am I getting Paragon points? For disabling the comm signal? Really? From here, I think we need to head to the satellite tower. Then the refueling platform and then we go into the research facility. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Just make sure. Keep looking for opportunities to slow get. Search for a way to slow down get defenses. Something scrambled they're targeting. We've got a shot. Lieutenant Olenko, take the heat off man of eye. Heading to perimeter stations to recharge. Walk her up before they come back. going to affect 
this mission. Okay, luckily my save is not that far behind. So it's okay. I thought I'll be pushed way too far back in my progress. This is not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. Refueling platform. Let's try once again. We can't save the game. We've got access to base security. We can cut the alarms from here, maybe even trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. Alenka can take a few more. Minimize the guard presence in the base. I hope they're ready for this. Try to maximize your renegade points as much as you can.
someone out there? Captain was flying! Hey, Igor, form up with JS. We need to stall for time. What do you want? I told you everything. I... Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Nobody's going anywhere till I get some answers. Private Neno Savat of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. Captured while on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, man. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I'd said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? What did they do to you, soldier? Experiments, but I don't know what for. The effect of incessant whispering on my shortening temper? Who knows? I just need out. Something's not right here, Shepard. Setting him free could endanger the mission. No. No! I, I need to get out. This room is too small, and it keeps talking, and I really want to... I need to get out. Let me out. I can't take that chance. Can't take that chance. No chance. I need to do what it says. I have to. Let me out. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! He saw that self, GG. He did to himself. Pretty weird. nothing left here but for the purpose of the story um there are many cell blocks like this i think there's one downstairs and we'll be taking a look at it just now That's straight up fucking upgrade. You're not a gaff, and you're not wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. Lieutenant Gonto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? Everyone here is indoctrinated. You might be working for Saren. My whole team was altered. But I was left alone as a control subject. I still have my senses, although I almost wish I didn't. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envy them. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms. Progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. Turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that. Please, let me out. If I let you out, how do I know you won't just attack me? It's obvious that I'm not crazed or drooling like the others. Let me out and I'll stay out of your way. Sorry, I can't take that chance. I'm not opening your cell. No, don't leave me here. Please. These look docile. Their minds are gone. Oh, this is no way to treat a prisoner. Kill them, sure, but leave them like this.
Better to die than to live like this. It's all we can do for them. Probably the best choice would be to bring them on board and get them some treatment from Dr. Chakwas or someone who can help them. But this is your playthrough and whatever choices you can make. You can actually try to be more philosophical in your approach. You can try to ponder about the choices. There are lots of lore videos available online that basically um, delve deep into the consequences, implications behind the choices you make. And first we need to free them. What is going on? Then we the attack them. Genophage Labs coming up soon. Shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. Let's hear it. Who are you and what do you want? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you didn't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. 
This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. You conducted brutal experiments on helpless test subjects. You helped Saren. You don't get to live. I just did what I was told. I didn't have a choice. I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't help your victims. No! No! As I said before, this this mission is long. Uh, all the missions Shepherd, look over on here. this planet it's another beacon, like the one on Eden are pretty Prime. important too. We'll be encountering a VI. Very important. It's the VI of a uh, Reaper. isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Whatever your plan is, it's gonna fail. I'll make sure of that. born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. 
legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it. And you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us! Letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out! Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine, and machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. So as you can see, to some of our questions, he does not have a legit answer, and he truly doesn't. Uh, I don't think even trouble. the Reapers know who created them. And I'll explain why. That ship's sovereign, it's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. There's nothing we can do here. Idea, Shepard? We'll head for the breeding facility. Time to blow this place to hell. Right, Commander. I'll meet you there. Joke around. Taking a quick pee break. One moment. all right i'm back from my break and as i was saying reapers they are basically sentient species of synthetics and they harvest organics time to time once they are at the pinnacle of their uh, ev uh, evolutionary scale um, they are harvested and their genetics is preserved they are more than a billion years old i think based on some of the information we get later in the dlc And the Reapers, they seem to have been advanced by absorbing the genetics of the species that they destroy. This will be shown in Mass Effect 2 when they create a human Reaper. So that makes sense considering humans, especially the Shepherd, is affecting them basically challenging their notion that the synthetics might not have everything figured out that the conflict can end the conflict between synthetics and organics can end there is a 
philosophical discussion Shepard has with the Maker in ME3 regarding this this topic. What's the best way to end the conflict? And you get, I think, three or four choices. And depending on the choices you make, you get an ending. A lot of the information regarding Reapers have been lost to time. That's it. We need to clear the gap and set those charges. Make sure to save your game from time to time. You want to save all that progress you've made. Everyone bunker down. Bunker down. First you come over here. Oh, right. Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Examine this area. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Looks nice, right? Very important cutscenes are coming up. Very important. We're all set here. Commander, do you read me? 
The nuke is almost ready, Lieutenant. Get to the rendezvous point. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Hold tight. We're coming to get you. Negative. Just make sure that nuke is set. We'll hold them as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the nuke. Go get them and meet me back here. You keep that nuke safe. It appears the Geth have sent reinforcements. Chief, we just spotted a troop ship inbound to your location. It's already here, and it's bleeding Geth all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? There's too many! I don't think we can hold them! I'm activating the nuke! 
Okay. Since I'll be making different choice than my first playthrough, I will miss out on a great cutscene. But that's okay. If you decide to save Ashley in this game, you'll get to see that cutscene. It's one of the best cutscenes I've seen in the entire Mass Effect trilogy. And that is also actually in the trailer of the Mass Effect Legendary Edition because they picked out uh, one of the best cutscenes to show in that trailer. What the hell are you doing, Williams? Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get the Lieutenant and get the hell out of here! Belay that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Williams. Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA Tower. Yes, Commander. I... I... You know it's the right choice, LT. Fight hard, Chief. Die proud. Aye, aye, Commander. Version Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Sovereign and its kind destroyed the Protheans. What else is there to understand? You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. Stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? A submission not preferable to extinction. I'd rather die than live under the rule of those machines. Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. 
I will not let it happen to me. Tell me why Sovereign needs the Conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The Conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god, the pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. I'm not like you. I'd rather die fighting than live as a slave. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. Everybody, hang on! I can't believe that Ash didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? We had to leave her behind. Saren has to be stopped at any cost. But why me? Why not her? Lieutenant Alenko, I am your commanding officer. I did what I had to do. Don't question my orders. I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But if I'd done my job, we should have been able to save her. Get it together, soldier. 
Ash's blood is on Saren's hands. And when we find that son of a bitch, I'll make him pay. Yes, ma'am. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. Nobody is messing with my head anymore. I'm sick of dealing with these visions. I understand your reluctance, Commander. But the visions are already there. I only want to help you make sense of them. It may be the only way to stop Saren. <sighs> Looks like I don't have a choice. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! <laughs> I never thought the images would be so... intense. I need a moment to collect myself. We don't have a moment. Snap out of it and tell me what you saw. It's... a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mew Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew relays inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren's heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Uh... I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a comm buoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. They're not gonna believe any of this. Not without proof. We'd just be wasting our time. Aye aye, Commander. <laughs> Sovereign will be sitting on Citadel's roof before those bastards will listen to us. Forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. You think a blockade's gonna stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the Conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. 
Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Zeren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this. With my help, of course. Commander, I've got a message from Captain Anderson. Are you spying on me, Joker? No, ma'am. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer... Sorry, Commander. The Normandy's locked down. Ambassador Udina gave the order. Sorry, Commander. The Normandy's locked down. Ambassador Udina gave the order. Okay, so Varmai was completed and now we have very few missions left actually. We are almost towards the end of the game, the main end game. And make sure to talk to everybody whenever you get a chance, all of our squad mates, right? And we are done with almost all of our side quests and now only the main quests are left. And few other side quests where you need to travel to other star systems, collect the Asari writings and things like that. We'll get to it probably in a separate video, but that's it. I'll end the video here and see you next time.